one sec, Emma. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing an international packing guide, not necessarily just packing for any international trips. This can be for any trips, whether you live not in the US, if you live in the US and are traveling somewhere else, just anywhere you pack. I feel like I've traveled to so many places since the start of 2018 that I kind of have like got it down to like what I need to pack in, like what's enough for me and essentials. And I just wanted to take this time to share all of the items with you. I made a list on my phone after traveling to Italy this past week and I just wrote down all of the essentials that I think are necessary when going on a trip. And my biggest struggle when packing was I used to always overpack and I'd get to the airport and my bag would be like 50 pounds or a little bit over and I have to take stuff out and put it in my carry-on. It was just a mess. So now I feel like I finally got it down and I packed just enough stuff. My bag was 39 pounds and I actually bought enough where it filled it up to 50 and I was perfect going home. So definitely less is more when you are traveling. But like I was saying, I have a list on my phone of items that I just wanted to share with you guys that I think are very important when traveling. So I cannot wait to share them with you guys and without further ado, let's get started. on my list is sunglasses. When I went to Italy, this was something that I normally don't bring anywhere. I don't think Emma and I brought one pair of sunglasses to Aruba, which actually was not a good idea at all, just because I have eyelash extensions, as you guys know. Well, they're like really bad right now. They've all fallen out. I'm actually getting them filled tomorrow, but I feel like now that I have them, they like open up my eyes more, and I just like the way that it looks when I don't wear sunglasses in photos, so I ha like haven't been wearing sunglasses at all, and I didn't pack any when I went to Aruba, and then finally when I went to Italy, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pack my one pair of Ray-Bans, like the hexagon ones with the gold frame, and I'll wear those with like all my outfits because they'll really go with everything. And so I packed them and I'm so glad that I did because everything was so bright and I feel like I would wear them all day long and it was so much easier to like look at all the sites when we went sightseeing and stuff like that. So definitely pack sunglasses if you're going on a trip. The next item on my list is whatever type of like money it I don't really know how to word that, but like I went to Italy so I had to bring euros with me and what I did was I went to a bank or like an ATM and they converted American dollars into euros and you can do this. I found out when I got to Italy, they actually have ATMs and like places where you can go and take out money, but I felt like just having euros on your person was so much easier than just walking around with your card because they do take um, credit and debit cards, but I just feel like when you are getting like ice cream or coffee um, on the streets, it's just so much easier to whip out like a dollar. 50 or one euro 50 cents and pay with that rather than using your card every time and the next item on the list is a backpack or a crossbody bag and when traveling to Europe it's very common that there are pickpocketers so they say to bring like a bag that can cross over your body like be in the front so if you definitely have a crossbody I highly recommend using one of those and I used my little black backpack a lot on the trip which is super helpful because I could just put both straps on it and it was so easy to like walk around and go to the different stores and have everything in my backpack and not have to worry about like holding anything and my hands were super free so that was something that I definitely think was necessary and next on the list is comfortable sneakers or even slides. So for shoes, when I went to Italy, I feel like I wore my Gucci slides every single day just because they're really broken in. I actually have them next to me right now. Like they're so broken in and I just feel like they're super lightweight and comfortable and I could walk around all day in them and they wouldn't hurt my feet. And even sneakers, if you get like the right pair of sneakers, I know that if I brought my Adidas Stan Smiths, I would have worn them every single day. So getting a comfortable pair of sneakers or like a comfortable pair of sandals that you know you can walk around in all day and not get blisters and not have your feet get really irritated I think is definitely the way to go and next on the list is for this is regarding like the clothes portion I think definitely my favorite things to wear when I was in Italy or even traveling anywhere I love to wear dresses and rompers because I just feel like there's so much free like more free and you can walk around in them and you're just so comfortable and like when I was wearing denim shorts my legs they would like rub against my legs when it was like getting hot out and like I'd get sweaty and it was just a really uncomfortable feeling having the denim rubbing up against my legs like I really did not like that so I avoided wearing shorts and I just feel like packing dresses and rompers is so much more helpful because you literally just have like your dress or your romper you don't have to worry about like what shirt to wear what shirt to pack um, like different accessories to wear with shorts and shirts and jeans and all of that So I just feel like if you can wear a romper or a dress that's definitely way more like efficient and a better choice than wearing like jeans or shorts 
And going along with what to wear, I brought my denim jacket with me and honestly, like I would wear it every single night. I just feel like throwing on a denim jacket over a romper or a dress is a perfect addition to any outfit and they're super casual and comfortable as well. And I will have the denim jacket that I got in Italy linked down below for you guys as well as my Italy haul so you guys can see like what I bought there and what some of my favorite items were. And the next thing on the list is a water bottle. This is something that I wish I brought because in Italy, specifically, they have really fresh water. So all over the whole entire um, country, you can like fill up your water anywhere. Like they have little fountains and stuff. And instead of paying for a water bottle every single time, you can just bring a water bottle and then fill it right up anywhere you go. And same with Aruba, Emma and I were like, oh my God, we wish we brought our water bottles with us. Well, I know Emma brought hers, but I didn't bring mine. And so I wish that that was something that I had when I went on my trip just because it's so much easier to fill it up at water filling stations. I feel like they have them all over the place wherever you travel. So that is definitely something to keep in mind next time you go on a trip. And next on the list is chapstick. I cannot stress this enough, like chapstick will be your best friend when you go on a trip, especially if you are going to a place where it's gonna be sunny and you're gonna be out in the sun all the time just because it's gonna dry out your lips a ton and you wanna like keep them moisturized and hydrated. So one of my favorites right now is the Super Goop like chapstick lip balm stuff and it has 30 SPF in it. I'll have it linked down below. It's not expensive at all. I think it's like under $10. And I just think that that one is so great. It works really well and it keeps your lips super hydrated and it also gives you a nice little shine to them. So that was my favorite when I went to Italy. And then next on the list is melatonin. And with a six hour time difference, it was so difficult to fall asleep and like adjust to the time difference when I was in Italy. So definitely bringing melatonin helps me a ton. I took a melatonin on the plane ride there and I slept the whole eight hours and it was great. And then Gretchen and I also took a melatonin the first night we were there and it helped us like sleep through most of the night to try to adjust to the time difference. But I definitely should have been taking it like consecutively night one night after another just because it would have helped me sleep better during the night. And I know you can get melatonin at any drugstore. They have it in gummy form. They have like little dissolvable pills that you can just put on your tongue. They have so many different kinds if you guys don't like taking pills, you can definitely get the gummies. That works. I know Emma has them and she loves them. And next on the list, you guys should definitely pack some wipes when you are traveling. Just like carry a little thing of them in your bag, whether it's like the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser wipes, micellar cleansing wipes, anything really works. Just so you can like wipe off your face if you're walking around. I know that it can get super hot and sticky and like maybe you just want to wipe off your hands, your arms, wherever, your face. Whatever it may be, you can just like pull a wipe out of your bag. I feel like those are super helpful to have. I feel like on the bus rides, I was always taking out my Cetaphil wipes and like wiping down my face and wiping my hands and just making sure that I was like fresh during the day because the worst feeling ever is when you're walking around somewhere for long periods of time and you start to feel like sweaty and sticky. I just really hate that. So definitely bringing wipes is a good idea if you guys just want to freshen up a little bit. Okay, last on the list, I feel like this is one of the most important things that, well, I mean, at least for Gretchen and I, um, one of the most important things that we wish that we brought more of, and that is snacks. Because since there's such a big time difference, you're not used to like your body eating at the times that you're supposed to eat. Like I would wake up in the morning and I wouldn't be hungry because it would be the middle of the night at home. But then I would spend the rest of the day and then I'd get hungry around the time it was like breakfast time in America, which was completely normal. And then throughout the day I would just like eat normally. But then it was nighttime where it like really affected me. And I would be laying in bed at night and it would be three in the morning, but really nine o'clock at home when I should have just have eaten dinner a few hours before. And it just was like the weirdest feeling because I would get so hungry and I wished that I had a snack. And the first night Gretchen actually brought some kind bars with her which were perfect but we ended up eating all of them um, within like the first two days they were gone so definitely if you can bring any snacks with you like kind bars or little things like that that are easy to just store in your bag and like put on the plane those will definitely help you a ton and even buying snacks while you're there just to keep in your hotel room I think it's definitely helpful just like keeping snacks on you at all time so you don't go starving like I did <laughs> And that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there are anything else or any other things that I think of that you guys should bring, I will leave it all down below. I'll also have a like numbered list of everything I talked about just in case you guys like forget or anything. And then I'll add some stuff on the bottom if I think of anything else. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how you guys liked it in the comments below. I would love to hear how you liked it because this is my first time doing like a video like this and giving, giving you guys like my opinions on different things. So I want to see what you guys think of it. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.